Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you don't watch my videos or and this is a uh, and this is the first time you click on mine, I'm Nicole. Um, I do a bunch of videos of several different things. Um, but basically today I am doing kind of like a how-to um type of thing for like brown smoky eyes. They're all matte. I just got some like inner corner highlight. And it's just like browns, rich dark browns and black, and yeah, that's just, this is basically a look. Um, I wanted to show you how I did it, like a little bit more in depth, so I only did my eyes on camera and everything else I did off camera. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want more videos like this, um, please let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be more than happy make them for you and yeah let's just go ahead and get started okay so starting off i'm gonna get really like in depth with this so obviously i need to have some kind of baking going on so the dark colors don't fall on my skin that's a massive tip or just start with your um skin um basically i just start with this really fluffy fluffy brush and then uh go in with this deep like warm baby pinky brown <laughs> well and just pack it on first before I start swiping or blending it into my eyebrow but as you can see there I just started blending it roughly like I'm just trying to blend and set the color and the shape first and then using that like slightly warmer shade and the tapered blending brush this is a Morphe one I just pack it on the outside and start setting the shape start dragging it towards the inside and just pushing it slightly upwards it's very messy right now it doesn't matter if it's messy it's a work in progress you just gotta have the time for it and be patient next going in with this really warm brown I'm just gonna start setting it on the bottom of my lid and working my way up in the same shape so it's like a winged out shape I want it to like elongate the outer corners of my eyes and then with this tiny fluffy um, blending brush so I have a better placement and control of the colors I just place it on the outside in the V shape and start blending the color upwards this is a darker brown so I gotta be careful with it because if it goes way too high up I'm gonna look like a raccoon so I gotta have that nice like ombre transition Next with this darker, darker brown, the one that I'm mainly going to be using on my lid and to blend like the black and everything in, as you see in the other eye, I'm just going to pack it with a flat shader brush and just go from the bottom, from my lash line and work it towards the top. Now you can see the way I'm angling my um, fingers, well my hands, not my fingers, um, and just moving the brush t towards the shape of my eye, packing it and moving slightly upwards. Next, so now that I have that shape set in, kind of like you know rounded shape just slightly just not blended in using that blending brush with no like no I didn't pick up any new color or anything like that it's just the same color residue that I had before on the brush I'm just gonna go and shape like the eye yes some of the colors gonna fall off because I haven't like like set it a hundred percent well so I just need to go back and forth between those two and just continue blending that's the very first brush I use right there and I'm just going to try to blend the inner corner edges so I don't get any dark shades into my inner corner and close my eye off and make myself like I look like a black guy. So these are just like tiny tips and tricks that you could use to try to get the eye um, smoky but not raccoony. Does that make any sense? Um, because we are using really dark colors. Next I'm going to just place the black with that flat shader brush towards the like very very close to my top lash line blend it upwards and then using this gel line I'm going to tight line my top waterline I'm going to use it both on my top and bottom waterline but um, I need to drag that um, what's it called sorry the pencil on, on the angled kind of way and blend it with a um, pencil brush sorry just I'm spacing out a little bit um, I need to blend it with a, sp uh, a pencil brush and um, some shadow will come off because you, you're setting um, a cream on top of a powder which you shouldn't really do but I'm trying to like really set that black in there so it doesn't like fall off if my eyes get watery and then going in between the black and the dark brown I'm just gonna set it with a shading brush and then the tapered blending brush and just start dragging it upwards very very slowly but surely Using the, same, the first blending brush I used, I'm just going to blend everything out together and then just remove the baking so I could move on to my um, lower lash line, as you can see right there. So the main thing is just to try to keep the dark colors really, really just tapping first, packing on before blending. Don't swirl before you pack. Um, that's the secret to like blending. You're going to have to try over and over and over again it's not one thing that you can get right in the first go if it is then my, like my congrats to you um basically what i'm doing in, with the lower lash line right now is just using the same exact order light to dark 
um, from the lightest brown to the warmest brown just blending it um, so I can get like this um, first color set down so it's it so the black blends easier down never put like burlap first and then the color otherwise you're just gonna make a messy and just muddy type of situation there so try to blend from the lightest to darkest and then work your way from there um, using the same gel line that I used in my waterline I just dragged it a little bit towards my lash line and then with the tiny tiny shader brush that I use I grab the darkest brown and put it on top like I set it on top I don't start blending first I set it like that and then I start dragging a little tiny bit um, very gently because otherwise you're gonna get it on your cheek um, I start setting that like dark brown next with a flat um, concealer shader brush it's very very thin also by Morphe I start packing the black and joining it with the outer corner like from the top and just pack it pack pack it at first and then you're gonna switch to another brush and blend it see that's the that's the one that had the warm deep browns now be very gentle with this grab a lot of like light browns and start packing it on top of the black and then blending um, slowly you're gonna grab the darker ones and start blending it downwards and then to clean up again we're gonna use that um, sponge with the baking powder and let it sit there for a little tiny bit so we can clean up the shape a little bit more that's the secret to having a bit of a cleaner shape when you do something messy. <laughs> um, for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to use the same highlight that I use on my cheeks, which is, which is the same one that I always use, the Becca Champagne Pop and then the Mary Luminizer. Just set it on top, and then to add a little bit of oomph, I'm going to use that really shimmery shade on the corner of the 35M um, Boss Moon Palette. I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but that's the palette I used. You can use any browns. Um, like that's essentially this is essentially what you do or what I like to do um, and then I just coat my lashes with mascara this is the lash sensational mascara um, and I just do the top and bottom lashes before I apply my fake lashes you can see me waiting for the glue to get tacky right there um, I'm using the kiss glam lashes lashes gla lashes um, I just place them with my finger at first so I don't get any like I, I have a better placement and better control and then with the tweezers be very careful with this I don't 100% recommend using tweezers um, because they're sharp objects and if you're a beginner you might poke your iron so be careful um but then I just place the outer corner fix that first and then the inner corner and then just start gluing everything properly together waiting for it to dry a little bit more so I brush off the excess and then I clump them together with um, the eyelash curler next so I could cover up the lash line the like from the fake lashes I use that liner or any type of liner that you really want when they have more control and then I just finish off the look off like that um but yeah thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one